Estimating the positions of these fittings is quite tricky really. Once the fittings are in place finger tight, their position needs to be approximately a quarter of an inch away from where you finally need them to be. Definitely no more than this, because if you force the fitting, you're likely to shear it off in the boiler. You need to have a delicate but firm touch at the same time, which is quite difficult to achieve. Make sure the spanner is fully adjusted to the right size for the nut. Apply a little Loctite 542 to the threads and tighten the first part into the approximate position. It doesn't matter which part of the water gauge you fit first. In this case I fitted the top part. Now I'm fitting the bottom part of the water gauge. This bottom part of the water gauge has a blowdown valve. This is to remove any air bubbles from the sight glass when the boiler is in steam in order to get an accurate reading of the water level within the boiler. As always, start the fitting in the boiler bush by hand. Make sure you do not cross the thread at any time. Once the fittings are in their approximate position, use the piece of gauge glass through the top fitting to align the two components. With the gauge glass sat halfway through the top fitting, use the adjustable spanner to adjust the bottom fitting, followed by adjusting the top fitting until the glass is in perfect alignment with the two components. Make the final adjustment with the glass in place in the bottom fitting, but be very careful here. Don't be heavy handed otherwise you will smash the glass. Just ease it into position at both ends. Gently does it. You need a touch like a midwife for this part of the job.